Welcome to the show. Well, my guest is one of these people who, who's got her hands in many different uh, things, I would say. Uh, she is a leader founder at the Fraser Valley Women's Business Network. A few other things that we're going to talk about. Time to meet Welda Redman. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. It's my pleasure for sure. Now, let's talk about um, you, uh, the lady, sorry, the Fraser Valley Women's Network. Let's talk mm -hmm. about that first. When did you start that up? Um, well, when I moved to Chilliwack um, a little over five years ago, I realized that there wasn't a, um, a lot of networking here. So it was January of 2017 that I that I started that. So we've been doing it for a while and um, it's been an amazing way to meet women in the community. Oh, oh yes. Okay. So um, speaking of that, now when and where do you meet? Um, well, uh, right now we're meeting in Sardis. So we have one meeting a month that's, um, we're back to face to face. Yay. Um, and, uh, so one meeting a month, uh, in person and it's in Sardis. And then we have one meeting online as well every month. So tell me about some of the people that are there, what kind of businesses they have. Oh, it, it really, it's a huge range. So, um, we have, um, people who have uh, uh, wellness centers. So with chiropractors and, um, you know, all that kind of thing. Uh, we have realtors, we have mortgage specialists, we have a lot of direct sales. So every direct sales um, kind of an idea. We have dog walkers, we have uh, lots of life coaches, we have, you name it, and and it's, it's there. We also, um, you know, sometimes not very often uh, we'll come to a meeting, but we have women in our group as well that actually, um, you know, they may not even have a business. They just right. want to network or maybe they're thinking about it and they just mm -hmm. want some support. Mm -hmm. So yeah, lots of, lots of different. So I'm trying to figure out like, how does some of it, how do people get helped in a network system? Well, ours runs a little bit differently than others. A lot of networking groups, when you go, you go and you, um, you're you kind of looking uh, to make like business connections. And so you'll go and you introduce yourselves and typically you're given, you know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute and you hand out your card and, um, and, and some of them you'll, if you're staying for a meal, then, you know, you have a small group that you sit with and you, and you will chat with. Ours is a little bit different because it's women only and, um, and women just network differently than men do. It's just a reality that, um, you know, where, where a lot of the other ones, you know, if I'll come in and it's basically, hi, my name is Joe. Uh, this is what I do. This is what, uh, here's my card. Let's do lunch. Whereas women, we come together and we spend a lot of time um, just building relationships. So we come into the meeting and probably for the first half an hour, mm -hmm. we're, you know, everybody brings appetizers. We, we sit and, and we eat and we talk and we catch up on each other's lives. And, you know, you come as not knowing anyone and you leave with a bunch of new friends. Right. So our, ours is more about building relationships. Wow. And, and the thing that I find for women is that, you know, having your own business can be very isolating and it's really hard to keep yourself motivated. Mm -hmm. And so having relationships with other women that are like-minded really gives you that ability to, um, you know, have someone that kind of reach out to is in the group. It's like, oh, you know, what, for whatever reason they want to, you know, they have a question about something that's not working or whatever. Um, the whole group comes around and supports and encourages. And um, it's really an amazing group of women. I would think that right now with COVID and a lot of people having businesses online, it's even more important right now to be able to meet people in person and connect, right? It really is. It really is. It's, um, you know, and it's just been so much more isolating. And I've really seen that there's been a lot of people, you know, have dropped away. So which has been really sad, because, um, because I know that they really loved what they were doing, but maybe, you know, they couldn't figure out how to make it work 
without markets. I mean, and not be, being able to do markets for over a year has been just a killer for a lot of the home biz, based businesses and um, especially the makers, right? Mm-hmm. The ones that are doing handmade, um, it's been hard right. uh, to pivot into doing online because people like to touch their tactile. They want to touch things and they want to see it in person before they they purchase. So, um, so I've seen a lot of businesses kind of really fade away. And then you have these other rock stars that just have blossomed and they've grown and they, they, you know, they did that pivot amazingly. And we've all learned from them. You know, I learned as much from the other women as they ever learned from me. Very good. Very nice. I want to talk about now your, uh, your other business or one of them will go bit by bit here. Or unique mm-hmm. independent presenter at unique by Guelda? Is that what Yes. It? Yes. What is that? Yeah. So that's a direct sales business. I have um, a few different direct sales businesses. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are kind of anti-direct sales or multi-level marketing, but it really is a brilliant um, business model. And um, and the thing is with it is it's not a get, get rich. I mean, if you if you're taking on a business, a business is a business and you have to put work into it. Right. And so, you know, you can choose to work part time. You can choose to work full time. You can you're going to work your butt off. You really are. Um, but but the the um, the outcome, you know, the, the residual income that you can grow can be absolutely amazing. But it doesn't it doesn't happen for everyone. And I know a lot of people have that kind of, oh, you know, oh, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. And the fact it doesn't work for some people because they haven't put that time and effort into it, or they're too shy. They can't break through that. So the biggest thing I find for, for all of our network marketing um, women is kind of bursting through that mindset of, of what it is and, and, the stigma that can be behind it and, and, you know, having your, your negative uh, comments on your pages and, and, and all of that kind of thing. So, um, you know, that's another thing that I, I really, I really have a passion for, for helping women out. And so this is something that um, we try to really work on. So now Unique is a, uh, it's a cosmetics company and it's a direct sales. Uh, it's all, you know, toxin free. It's, it's amazing, um, quality, but at a really good price point. Like it's, it's not your cheap, you know, grocery store or, um, you know, shoppers drug mart kind of stuff, but it's, um, but it's a really good, it's, a, it's, kind of mid-range price-wise, mm-hmm. but very good quality. Okay, great. Um, now you also have, uh, uh, you're a consultant at Epicure. Epicure. <laughs> yeah, so Epicure is, um, it's a Canadian owned. It actually started over on the island. Right. Um, and it's another um, direct sales company. And and I can't, sorry, I can't remember the, the names of the founders, okay. but it's a mother and daughter. And the, the mother basically, you know, um, was very health conscious prior to that being a trend. And uh, so she always created her own um, seasonings and, and um, okay. spices and blends. And so now that's kind of what it is. So the, the great thing about Epicure that I love, because I am gluten intolerant and uh, try to stay away from dairy a bit and really try to stay away from sugar, is that it's it's all like nut-free, gluten-free. Um, it's very dairy-free. A lot of it's dairy-free. Like it all... It, they keep in mind all of those things. Now, if you want to add that into it, you can, but for those of us that can't have it, it's a great alternative. And uh, so this, I, I, I don't really sell this one so much. Basically what I have is um, I have a club and we take turns being hostess. And uh-huh. so everybody, it, it makes it a really easy way for the people who absolutely love it and want to be purchasing it monthly. It's not a huge purchase. It's like, I think it's like, it's less than $30 a month. And I spend way more than that on it a month because I love it. Um, 
and uh, and then everybody takes a turn being a hostess and getting those rewards. But you don't actually have to have a party, which is absolutely perfect because your your group commits to um, making those purchases every month. So oh, I see. Okay, I'm. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, now what happened? Oh, as self-employed, I'm telling you, I don't know how you have time to breathe. But anyway. I, I don't know either, to be yeah. honest. I mean, that doesn't, that's not even everything. <laughs> <laughs> self-employed at uh, Kindred Creations. With K, yes. With, both spelled with a K. Kindred Creations with a K. Yes. So, Kindred so Creations. Yes. What are those creations? Um, so uh, this is my, my sister and my daughter and I decided we're very creative women and we just decided that we wanted to um create a business where like handmade business and do markets and stuff like that so we take t-shirts like this t-shirt here and we put sayings on them um we make christmas stockings um santa bags cushions mugs um lots of little body suit the baby infant body suits and t-shirts and we just do fun stuff it's just a lot of fun stuff but we um we've had a lot of fun um designing and um and and this was one of the things we really had to pivot with because when markets are we were basically market based and when covid hit we had to really pivot and and start doing it online and what was fabulous because we actually were kind of like um thinking my daughter has two kids. I have a, a bit of a farm and my sister was looking after my mother. And so we really didn't have weekends yeah, <laughs> to, yeah. to commit to it. So we were thinking about going online and COVID just made us have to do it. And we were, we did really well actually with it. Excellent. So it was amazing. Yeah. Excellent. Like for me, uh, and I told this to people before zoom, you know, norm, before I did um, interviews in person, right. But yes, Zoom is hope in this whole new world for me that I can interview anybody no matter where they are. And I absolutely anywhere. Love I know it's amazing. Yes. It's the most wonderful thing ever. Um, yeah. Okay. Now you mentioned a farm, of course, like, again, I'm so tired for you. <laughs> <laughs> Kindred Country Farm. So what kind of products are, what do you have? What, can, what do you grow well, or- yeah, we um, we're we're it's still a, a work in process. Um, so mostly it's uh, right now we're doing a lot of just homesteading with it. Um, I have goats, so I milk um, goats. <laughs> Um, I, I, when I, you know, my, my dream is, um, at one point that I'll start to make cheese and, and stuff like that mm-hmm. with it as well. Um, I have made soap with it and it's amazing. soap. goat milk soap is amazing. Right. Um, we also have alpacas, which are just so adorable and yeah. cute and fluffy. Yeah. Um, so I shear them, but uh, I, I haven't really done anything. So that's another thing. It's like, oh, I really want to learn how to spin their wool. And it's like, I don't know when I'll ever have time. But, and then we have um, sheep, which we use their meat sheep, and we have um, turkeys and chickens. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so we did sell eggs for quite a while, but right now we're kind of in between flocks. Okay. Um, yeah. So now I know you have a, a kindred kindredrelations.ca so people can find you there right and uniqueproducts.com slash uh Gwelda redman is another mm-hmm. one so what about the business now if every if anybody wanted to um get in touch with the fraser valley women's business network how would they do that well we have a website um for uh, www.fvwomensbusinessnetwork.ca and we also are on facebook we have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And we also have a Facebook group. So the group is a private group that if you are a woman, um, basically, to join, you need to be a woman. Um, You don't have to have a business, you, uh, you can just be someone seeking or maybe you just need to connect with other women. Because right now that's like super important. And then we just stick to British Columbia. That's our local is British Columbia. And um, it started out just Chilliwack and then it grew and it was more, you know, a lot of Fraser Valley, but then, you know, we're, we're getting people from other places. So we have uh, members from the Island and North a bit more. And, and so we're just trying to, uh, I had started out, it was the Chilliwack 
Women's Business Network, and we changed it to Fraser Valley just because it it um, it was covered. Yeah, it was like, that's who we are. We're more Fraser Valley, but we're open to anyone in British Columbia, any women in British Columbia, because we want to be there to to support. And I know that, you know, in some remote areas, you really maybe don't have the same support. So we're here. We're, we're happy to, to have you join us. Right. Great. No, I think I've touched on everything. Um, Do you think I missed anything? Um, the, the only other thing that I would actually like to mention is I'm also a board member with the British, uh, British Columbia Schizophrenia Society Foundation. So we found, um, do fundraising for the Schizophrenia Society Mm -hmm. and, um, I've done, uh, they do a run every year. They, we've been with the Scotia bank, um, run. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I've done a fundraising through that with our family and we have a team Heimberger. Uh, my husband's name is Heimberger and, um, and we have a, a son who has schizophrenia. So it was something, it's something that we're very, very passionate about helping um, the schizophrenia society is there for the families to help with support um, resources, uh, information, lots of education. And, um, and so it's been really important to us because we had the support while our son was very, very ill, Mm -hmm. we had that support. And, and I know that such a, I mean, it's such a devastating diagnosis. And for a parent to find out, you just, you have no idea what's, what your future holds. And it's terrifying. And, um, and so for people to have resources like the BC Schizophrenia Society is amazing. Um, And so that's something else that we, we really are very very tied to. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. we're just about out of time, but just uh, stay on camera while I say goodbye to the audience. Um, so everyone, I really hope you, you know, um, you enjoyed hearing all about Welda Redmond and I'm going to make sure her contact information is included. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, if you want to find out about any of the things, whether there's the products they sell or, um, as I say, the independent, uh, uh, I've forgotten, <laughs> I've forgotten. Oh, no, at, oh there's actually. <laughs> I have to say hi to the cat. I know. I this is Jude. <laughs> Jude? Jude, yeah. Beautiful looking cat. Yeah, <laughs> I know. He's gorgeous. I know. <laughs> people bring in their animals or their kids or whatever. He just <laughs> jumped up. <laughs> I think that, well, yeah, so. He loves the camera. <laughs> Why not? I do too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry, everybody. I get distracted by animals. <laughs> oh. that. So thank you all for watching. And um, if you like the show, um, Hopefully you'll subscribe and keep watching and uh, stay safe and peace out, everyone. A sense of community to the wax of place to be a sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Chilliwax, a place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwax, a place to be, you'll see.